Hello everybody, Waffles here, and welcome to part 2 of our Cinema 4D tutorial on how to animate Minecraft in Cinema 4D. Okay, in this second episode we're going to be talking about animating the rig, yay! So, uh, last time we brought in a rig to Cinema 4D, the Weed Lines rig will be in description, and uh, watch uh, tutorial 1 on how to install it. And uh, now we're going to be learning how to animate it, so let's get into this. So let's open up our project from last time. I believe I have it under tutorial. Okay, there we go. Open that up. So we left off where we had added our skin to a Steve Rig with no face, and we had made this guy look very angry and scary, and I'm scared. Okay, now we're going to learn how to keyframe stuff. Okay, so first of all, if you notice down here, there is a timeline. And this timeline is 90 frames long by default. And this is uh, how long your composite, or your, yeah, sure, let's call it a composition, is. Um, now, since our video here is going to be 30 frames per second at default, and it's 90 frames long, that's going to make it 3 seconds long. So if I play this, that should be 3 seconds. There we go. Okay. Now, if you want to make this longer, you just go into here and type the length of however long you want it, like 120. That's 4 seconds. Or we can even go as high as 150. So that's 5 seconds. You can go up to 240 or... Uh, I like to use 300 or 300 to 400 for intros. Uh, so if you want to make an intro, use around that. Um, now we are going to learn how to animate. Okay, so we're going to use this Steve Rig on the face because it's cooler and, uh, and it's less ugly and it actually is pretty ugly, but never mind. Um, so uh, to keyframe something, all you have to do is use this little button here. Now this button means um, when you click on it, it means this is going to be, this is what's going to happen at this point in the timeline. So I, if I want my character to be here at zero frames, I can just click it. And I'll add this little blue thing, but I'm going to leave that at zero because I don't want it to be anywhere else. And then if I want it, and then if I put it to 10 frames, move the arm up, and then click it again. This is saying I want this to be this arm to be here at 10 frames and not here. And I just click it again. And there we go, we have an animation already. Uh, we have a hand moving animation, which is kind of pointless, but whatever. Uh, and then we go back to 20 frames, bring it back down, click it, 30 frames, back up, and so on. So basically here, what we've done is we made a little waving animation looks terrible because I didn't put much time and effort into it but yeah that's the basics um, now we're gonna look at stuff how to animate stuff that isn't um, on this timeline so like his eyes how do you animate his eyes because you can't move them well what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your Steve rig, go down to where his eyes are uh, let's move his pupils around that'll be fun no, sorry, not there. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. So, what you have here is a little button. And when you hold down control and click on it, it goes right. And that is basically making a keyframe. So, again, control, click, and that'll make a keyframe. Move it 10 frames ahead. Move your eyes wherever you want them to be at 10 frames. Control, click, you'll see it'll go yellow, and then click and it'll go red. And now we have our eyes moving. Yep, that's pretty fun. Now we can even, uh, yeah. So that's about it for the eyes, If you, that's basics. Um, 
yeah eyes um, smile he can make him smile this is the keyframe button here so let's make him smile let's go control click and then at 20 frames we want the smile to be a lot bigger so like this there we go and now let's watch that Yeah, it's going to be kind of jumpy because, um, yeah, I, um, my computer is being a bit, a bit slow, even though it's quite a fast computer, but it is being a bit slow now. Uh, so that's what it looks like. You have your eye movement and your smile. Now, you know how to animate his body parts and his face now. So, let's give him a... Let's make him walk. So what you're gonna do for walking is you're gonna go to, let's remove these keyframes. These are not very good keyframes. So there we go. Nothing happening um, in this. Okay, let's move his arm back down. Okay, perfect. Now let's, uh, Let's just leave him looking really angry, because that's kind of funny. Okay, um, so zero, go to his uh, body here, and we can keep him the entire thing. But instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and this is auto keying. So this will keyframe automatically whenever you change time and position. So if, say, I'm going to give a, an example here. Um, if I enable auto keying, put a keyframe on the first one, go to 10, and as soon as I change something, boom, keyframed. I didn't even have to do anything. Um, so yeah, that's basically, see, auto keyframe. 20, we can make it go up here, keyframe. That's auto keying, so you wanna have that enabled for walking. And what you're gonna do, crap, I didn't, I shouldn't have done that, okay. So you're going to go to zero, you're going to set him to his starting position, so like maybe, this is going to be a really quick walking just because I don't want to get too in-depth, uh, there we go, uh, left hand can be like back here, sure, whatever, right hand over here, okay, there we go, keyframe, now 10 frames in, we're gonna swap it completely. So his feet, this one's gonna be back here where the other one was, and his other one's gonna be in front. There we go. Go to 20, swap it again, back, and forward. And then again, keep dragging the timeline 10 frames every time you wanna change the walk, and again. And there we have it. Okay, so now this is a really quick walk. So if you want to change that, make it maybe 15 frames in between everything, just drag your, 15, your frames to different points. You can drag these keyframes everywhere you want. And that is really handy. Um, so yeah. Um, that's how to make it. Whoa, that looks weird. Okay, do not drag stuff. That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. So yeah, um, if you're gonna drag stuff, you have to drag it for both legs, because if not, one leg's gonna be moving faster and the other one's slower, and then that's really dodgy. So yeah, that's how to make a walking animation, um, animate his arms and his face, and that's pretty much all I wanted to show people in this tutorial, but um, there will be one more tutorial after this. Um, it will be on rendering, uh, I'll show you my render settings, um, all the stuff that I do in order to get good render quality from this, and how I make most of my intros, basically. Uh, I'm also going to show one last thing on how to get Minecraft items. Now, you're going to go onto the Weedlines webpage again, I have it open here, and there's going to be a link in the description for this. And you're gonna scroll down 
to item pack. Here you go, and you can download that and install it like I did in the first tutorial. Just watch that, but do it with this one. It's exactly the same process, exactly the same. And then what you'll have is you'll have this little item set, wow slowness. That's really bad. I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, you'll get this, it'll be called this, uh, Minecraft item pack instead of Minecraft Steve rig, it'll be called Mi Minecraft item pack, and then you can go into uh, tools or whatever, you can go into whatever you want, uh, sword diamond, let's go to the diamond sword. Uh, you can rotate it, you can do whatever you want with it, it's just basically a diamond sword, and that's really fun. Uh, it's really well done, thank you Wii Lion, it's amazing, look at that, nice sword. You can scale it if you like, so you, you just go down here and change it to say 200 and 200 and make it a bit wider as well because that's going to be weird if it's not that white. Oh uh, crap, not that white. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, that looks weird. Uh, and then just change this to like 30. I don't know. Whoa, that's wide. Uh, 25. Okay. There you go, and then you have your big sword that looks really fat, and because I made it too wide, and probably should change that because it looks weird. Uh, so giant diamond sword, fun stuff. That's how to get diamond swords and any other item. There's like a whole bunch of items here. Any shears, food, uh, ores, uh, music discs. I don't know why you would want this, but who knows, right? Uh, you have. Uh, armor when it's in armor form and not on your character, obviously. Um, and this is all by weed line. Very nice, very nicely done. I already said that, but no matter, I can do it twice. Um, this is probably the end of this tutorial. Uh, like, stay, stick around for next tutorial. If you want to know how to render this out, render out your animations, render out your little waving or your giant sword that's moving around that I didn't mean to do because I'm still in animating mode. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to delete this in this because that looks weird. Um, there we go. So look at that leg, it's still moving because I didn't delete the keyframes on that one. Um, so that's keyframing and this button here, I like it quite much. Uh, that sounded weird. Um, that's keyframing and animating and yeah, stick around for tutorial 3 and I will see you later everybody. Goodbye.